okay so I just changed about three times because I didn't like what I was wearing <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are playing with the wigs and we are also playing with this massive parcel like almost the size of my viewfinder massive parcel that I ordered from Princess Polly I've never ordered off there before so I'm super excited to delve in to this brand and see the quality, see the styles um, and all that kind of good stuff. I'm also going to be doing try on clips for you guys as well as a styling voiceover just so you, um, just putting some pieces with things that I think will look good. I've never really done a video like this before, I've never really styled anything before. I don't know um, if my style is any nice. <laughs> I don't know if my style is any good or if you guys will find it helpful, I don't know, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go with it and see. But yes, without further ado, let's dive into it because I'm super excited. I got this yesterday and I've been staring at it and I wouldn't open it because I was debating whether or not to do the child clips before or after. I'm going to do them after and in my head while I open the clip. Oh, what was that? In my head while I open the pieces, I'm just kind of kind of figure out in my head what I'm going to put them with so that I can still explain it before I do the trial and clip. So here we go. Okay, so. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have now like a million clothes in front of me. So I'm just going to pick at random order. So I mean, this one was on the top. So here we go. I'll get my order up on my phone just so I can tell you guys all of the prices and stuff. Okay, so the first item is this little dress here. Um, this is the Roseberry Mini Dress. Um, I got it in the size A and the colour Pistachio and this was $65. Dollars. So here we are. I've got this cute little crinkled neckline, boob line. Here we go. Really flattering. Um, the fabric feels a lot different than what I thought it would feel. Like it doesn't feel as expensive as like I would kind of expect for something that costs sixty-five dollars. So I'm thinking of pairing this one maybe with like um little white sneakers, um maybe a little bag, but not too much going on with this one. But yeah, here we go. This is this one. Pleased with myself because this is actually the only black item that I picked up for this whole haul. So these are the black Bermuda cycling shorts in a size 8, obviously in black, and these were $45. Now these feel really good quality. Um, They're very thick and like they've got a little bit of stretch to them, not, but not much, so you know like they're gonna be tight to your body as well. Um, Yeah, so very, very thick and good quality. I did buy some Thrills t-shirts that um, I'm wanting to pair with these. So just like um, a large oversized t-shirt, some trainers as well, maybe even like a puffer jacket depending on the weather, but it is going into summer here. So probably not, probably just like as by itself and then with like a little bag or something as well. Um, and definitely sunglasses as well as I'll probably be wearing this like out, out in the sun, out in the daytime. Um, but yeah, those are those ones. Now the next item is something that I would have almost never bought for myself, but with this haul, I wanted to really push myself out of my comfort zone and get things that I wouldn't normally be wearing. So this is the Lewis midi skirt, size eight soft pink, and it was 65 dollars and this is what it looks like so it's like a long midi skirt um it's got also a slit in the back as well but it's light pink with red hearts on it yes this is something that i would never ever normally wear as you can see or as you might have been able to tell from previous videos it is black and that is it <laughs> So I've gone for all colours with this one, um, except for the second shorts and the Thrills t-shirts are charcoal grey, but not black, so I'm not counting that as black. But yes, pink with um, red hearts. The girl in the photo um, of this was wearing it with like um, a silky white um, singlet so I would probably want to pair it with something similar um, and then maybe even boots or sandals depending on what you wanted to wear that one is that okay the next one again is something not necessarily the style of the top but definitely the color is something that I would never wear 
So this is what it looks like. So it is a lemon color. This is the A crop top in lemon size eight and this was $45 again this is kind of a very similar material to the dress I don't think it feels as expensive as what $45 should feel photo definitely makes it look like the fabric is definitely a lot thicker but it's not really then again I will have to try it on and see but yeah, it doesn't feel as thick as what $45 worth of quality should feel like but then again what are you gonna do i have it now i'll try it on so i'm thinking of just pairing this with maybe like some denim shorts or a denim skirt um maybe some sandals or trainers depending on like what i'm doing maybe you could even put this with a denim jacket as well um if you get a colder day in summer and you just need an extra layer to cover up there we go number three i mean number four <laughs> okay on to the fifth item i'm so excited about this one okay <laughs> so this is the summer sandbar top i got it in a size eight um in white and it was 45 dollars and this is what it looks like so here we go so again it's a little bit of a thin material but i think that it works for this kind of a thing because it is summer and it's hot and because this is still a long sleeve the thin material go really nicely with that one i'm thinking of like maybe tucking this into like a skirt or into um shorts or like having it like kind of by itself, I don't know how like big it's going to be on me. Um, see if I can get away with it. It's got a little neck detail. I probably would wear it quite open, have it over the top of something and have it completely open. Yeah, I would probably pair this more with trainers. I think that would look really cute um, with shorts and this as well and then a bralette underneath. But yeah, that one is number five. Okay, so the next two items I'm going to do together because they are very similar. So I decided to get two Thrills brand t-shirts. So this is the first one, um, yeah, it's in that kind of charcoal grey, um, this was, so this is the Thrills Palmed Thrills Tea Merch Black, <laughs> um, and I got this in a size 8 and this one was $60, so it's quite simple, it's just got the Thrills Byron Bay on there, um, nothing else, nothing going on on the back. Pretty good quality, I would say. I've never bought from um, th any thrills things before, but they seem pretty good quality. Um, also, like, they seem light, which will be good in summer um, as well, and I really love this colour. I love charcoal grey. So yeah, definitely pairing this one with the cycling shorts and some trainers. If you wanted to dress it up, um, you could probably... I mean, you could always tuck this into a skirt or into shorts, um, also jeans as well. This would even go well with some of those midi skirts as well. Maybe not the pink love heart one, but definitely midi skirts would kind of pair nicely with these kind of tops as well. Um, I'm probably going to either pair it with jeans and boots or maybe my cycling shorts and sneakers. Um, so you'll see me in one of those two outfits with either of these sort of t-shirts. So that's the first one. And then the second one I got in the same size but looks a lot bigger. So I got this one in an 8 as well. So this is the Thrills Learning Merch t-shirt, vintage black. Um, I got it in a size 8 and this was $60 as well. So this one's got an eagle on it and it also just says... It's Thrills Company but the Thrills is upside down. That's why I was dumb and couldn't read it. So just says Thrills Company as well, it's got the eagle on it, really cute, but yeah, this one does look a lot bigger than the other one, so I don't know if this one's meant to be oversized and the other one's not, none of them say that one, like, it doesn't say it's supposed to be oversized, um, the other one doesn't say that it's not supposed to be oversized, so, pardon me, yeah, um, that is the second one, I really like it, um, this one, the style, of the eagle is a bit different, um, but I thought that it was kind of cool, so I picked this one up as well. Alright, let's dive into some skirts. So this one is the Marlowe mini skirt in khaki, um, size 8, and this was $45. So this is what it looks like. If anyone watches Georgia Richards' vlogs and stuff, she does a lot of things with Princess Polly, and she has this skirt, but I really just loved it. So I thought I would pick it up. Um, she kind of gave me... I've been watching her vlogs consistently and 
she is as always raving by Princess Polly, so that was what kind of inspired me to test this brand out. And I also need a new summer stuff, but yes, I got this in khaki, it's just this little mini skirt as well. I'm thinking about maybe pairing this with my white blouse, or maybe just like a white crop top, or even just like a black singlet or a white singlet or something like that would go really cute with this. And sandals, and then maybe a little bag as well, some sunglasses and all that kind of stuff. Um, this one's definitely, I think these kind of plainish skirts are definitely a staple around summertime. Um, I've never really been a skirt person, but I really want to get into wearing things that I would normally wear this summer and changing up my style, changing it from like, oh, well, I mean, I just bought t-shirts. Like this kind of wintry baggy t-shirt, kind of go a bit more feminine, I guess. So this is one of the skirts I picked up. Okay, the next skirt I picked up, I don't know how to pronounce, Rasmus, I-S-M-U-S, -S, mini skirt, size eight in white, but it's also got these little, it's got this little spotted detailing on it, so it's got little kind of gray spots and kind of peachy nudish spots as well. So this is quite similar to the khaki one, just obviously different pattern. It's still got kind of the two tiers of frills, but yeah. Definitely, I think I would pair this more with like an all white kind of an outfit. Um, trainers and then maybe like a white t-shirt or a white singlet, all that kind of stuff. Um, or match it to the spots as well. I guess you could go black. I think that would also, I mean, I said I don't want to wear too much black. But this would go black, um, go black, go well with a black t-shirt or singlet as well. So there's a second, um, like mini skirt. Okay, on to another top now. So I saw this top um, in a couple colours, but when I saw it in this colour, I was like, I have to get it. And then I didn't even notice until it was in my bag, but I fell in love with this top. And then I realised it's called <laughs> the Eloise Crop Top. So, so I had to get it. <laughs> so this is in blue, and this was $60. So this is what it looks like. Um, so it's got frilly sleeves. Um, it's kind of got an underwired section for the boobs. And then it's got this really cute little tie up in the middle as well. And I really love the color. I've been getting really into wearing blue recently. So I think this is a really cool, it needs an iron. But it, this is a really cool addition. I would either pair this with like jeans or shorts. Um, probably shorts going into summer. Um, even with a skirt, this would look really cute. Um, the model just paired it with a pair of denim shorts, which is probably what I will do. Sandals or sneakers. I'm kind of pairing this with all of the same stuff. But I do have more than one pair of trainers and sneakers. So, trainers and, trainers and sandals. So, you, get, you will get different styles, even though I'm saying pretty much the same thing for all of the pieces. But yeah, I love this top. This is one of the favourite things that I've bought. Um, yeah. I'm really loving green as well because I have green eyes and it goes with my eyes. So this is a very dark... Oh, is that upside down? No. Very dark green dress. It's got all these lovely flower details on it as well. So this is the the Bright, bright Sun. <laughs> this is the Bright Sun mini dress. Um, in size 8, obviously in green, and this was $75. It's got, again, the puffy sleeves, which I've kind of gone for this summer. It's kind of got that bra detailing, but it's only in a stitch. It's not in, like, an actual underwire cup. Buttons all down the dress. It does look a little thin. Like, I can see my camera and stuff through this. Um, you guys can't see through it, but I don't know, you just have to probably be a bit careful with the light, be careful with what you wear underneath it. Um, this would look like super cool with like chunky boots. I don't really have like chunky like Doc Martin vibe boots. Um, mine are kind of more heeled going out boots, but I mean I still like try them on with it. Um, this would even go well with a uh, leather jacket if you paired it with that and the boots as well. You could dress this up quite sexy. You could have it quite girly and feminine just with some sandals and maybe like a hat or something. Not that I have a hat to pair with it. But that is kind of what I'm thinking with this one. <coughs> okay, on to something a little bit different now. I picked up a set which I plan to wear kind of late night, cozy lunch wear 
you know, chilling, watching TV. Um, so this is the Arella set um, in grey, size 8, and this was a $75 set, which I think is pretty good for like two different things. So it's this little grey crop top, and then it's got that kind of V cut out in the middle, which I think will be really flattering as well. Um, more, yeah, more like loungewear. I mean, I guess you could always pair the top with like denim shorts and get away with it as well. Um, as kind of more of a daytime thing, but I had planned this, planned to kind of wear this more as a set and just like lazy around the house as well. So there's the top and then the bottoms are just the same fabric and then they're just grey bottoms. They're a little bit high waisted as well. Um, but yeah, that kind of, they kind of thin material, but I mean for summer lounge where you don't want it to be like, you don't really want it to be thick and hot and like warming you up. You want it to be able to still keep quite cool. Um, so I think this is a really nice set, um, but I just really love the top. I really love the neckline. Hopefully it suits me. Um, sometimes those kind of necklines don't suit me. I did recently buy like a v-neck top and I've worn it like a couple times, but I've just like had to come to terms with the fact that it doesn't do anything for my shoulders or that kind of stuff, which I don't even have big shoulders and it makes me look like I have big shoulders. So I have how I've got rid of it. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I'm going to donate it. Yes, I'm very excited for this. If you were going to style this, like, more, like, like I said, oh, just itchy armpit. Sorry. Yeah, like, you could style this with jeans and trainers and, like, make it kind of, like, a cute little sporties thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Or you could just pair it with, like, some, like, really long, like, grey socks just go all out um but then again like in the summer you kind of don't want to be like too covered up so this one's probably going to just be um on its own and not too styled okay we're getting there where are the things for this ah here yeah. okay more green more green this one's a lighter green this is another dress this is the just a lover mini dress in green or in mint and this was 55 dollars so it's got these really frilly sleeves um i've never when i've worn frilly sleeves i've kind of been like the puff sleeves and then they come back down tight i've never really worn anything that's kind of like just loose does that tie up yeah it's got these little two pieces here that tie up so i'm just going to quickly do that now so it doesn't have enough string to make it into a bow but i've just done it in a knot um again it's got that boob detailing but it's in a stitch it's not in a cup um, and it's got stitching down the body to kind of shape you as well. Quite short, I would say, but like not unreasonably short. Um, it's got, yeah, this little flower detail as well, which I think is a very, very cute. And again, green. I've started really liking green. So that is that one. Probably, honestly, trainers, again, I'd probably like Nike Air Force Ones. I'd probably go with for these. Or you could also dress it up and maybe wear a heel with it if you wanted to wear it out as well. But I would probably be more likely to just pair this one with some trainers. Okay. More green. My mountain. Okay. So this is the Vieira Maxi skirt in a size 8. And this is in teal. Um, and this was $55. So this is what it looks like like it's got kind of um a leopard print detail to it as well does it have a split in it no i don't think so does it have one at the back no so this one doesn't have a split to it but i feel like the way that it's shaped it would come in and then kind of flare out at the bottom dark green again yes teal now this one i would either style a couple different ways i could you could style it with like a white singlet you could even style this as one of the thrills t-shirts um trainers you could style it with boots you could dress this up and have a silky top with it and dress it with heels to go out as well so i'm really liking this piece because of the versatility i think also with these um me, um they're not maxi like oh this one says maxi but like it doesn't go to the floor so like the medaxi dresses um 
like dresses like skirts are just like so diverse and you can um, do so many different things with these as well so I'm really excited to be able to style that one up with so many different things um this piece I will probably will give you a couple different options in the try and click just because there is a couple of different things or different ways that I would style this um but yes the quality feels good um, a little bit thin but I think that that's kind of for granted for something along these lines just because of the fabric is silk um it feels good quality even though it feels thin like it doesn't feel like shit thin quality which i think one of the tops that i mentioned before kind of did feel a bit thin um but this one feels like good quality thin so very excited for that one Alrighty, the last two options and apart from the top that was my name i am the most excited for these ones so i picked up now i didn't go all out with her collection but like because I don't want to sound like, I don't know, not many of the things that she like created were like my style, I guess, but I did really love this piece and I think the other pieces that I did like, I either had to cut them off because I'd spent too much money and I wanted everything else or like they didn't have my size at that moment. Um, so this is the Bella Ferrari collection. This is the Monday skirt dress. I got this in a size 8 in olive. Um, and this was $70. So this is what it looks like. I'm so excited. I really haven't had like one of these um, t-shirt like um, items big enough to be a dress. Like I know this one is marketed as a dress. But like I've never had one before. I really love the colour. I'm not tan at the moment but with the tan this would look like amazing. Um, but yeah it's a really really nice really nice quality. Um, really nice and thick. It's kind of... What's that fabric called? Oh, corduroy. That's it. <laughs> Came to me. It's kind of similar to that, but I wouldn't say, like, as thick. But it's got that vibe to it. Um, but, yeah, still really nice quality. Obviously, this one was um, a kind of more expensive item. This was the only item that didn't get discounted. So, I did use a discount code. I didn't use my discount code because I don't have one, obviously. I have, like, three followers. But, um, as I mentioned before, I have been watching a lot of Georgia Richards videos and vlogs and she did her first impressions. Um, this video is kind of inspired by her, but like everyone does first impressions, so like, take that with what you will, if that made sense. Um, <laughs> so she used her code, because she has a code, so I will link her down below because I did use her code for this. So this was just, I think it was like PP times... Georgia 20 or something like that, all in caps. Um, I'll link her channel down below. Please go check her out because I watch her all the time. Like she, like she is one of the very few YouTubers which I will watch her video as soon as she uploads because I'm just like I want to watch. I really, really enjoy her videos. She's from the Gold Coast, so she's from Australia. But yes, this is the Bella Fiori um, collection. So styling, yeah, definitely like probably boots. Um, you can even like really dress this up and wear like stockings with this and um, oh stockings with this and boots um you could wear it a little bit open and have like a long dangling necklace you could even have a body chain underneath it if you wanted to wear it a bit more low cut um all of that kind of stuff um i don't have a body chain <laughs> or any of that but i will definitely figure out something to style this with um or you could just style it with sneakers and wear around town there's that one. Okay, now before we get on to the last item, I did pick up a belt because I don't have one and I need one because all my pants don't fit. Alright, so I picked up this black belt. It's got this snake skin detailing on it and the buckle is two snakes intertwined. I thought this was really cute. It also kind of matches my tattoo. My tattoo is very similar to this, the entangled snakes as well. I'll show you guys. There we go. But yes, I thought this was very, very cute. Like Gucci vibes without it being Gucci with the snakes and with the snake skin. Um, but yes, I just, I need, I really, really needed a belt. All my belts broke. All of them. I had like one belt and it broke. <laughs> um, sorry, mom, that was your belt actually. I know she watches these, so I accidentally broke your belt. But yeah, this one was really cute, so I decided to pick it up. I hope it fits. Sometimes I don't have enough buckles and they're all big for me, so I hope it fits. It kind of looks like it would fit, but it kind of looks like it would just fit instead of like 
be tight. I'd probably, in the photo, she's actually paired this with the green um, midi skirt and just like a white top as well. So I was thinking of putting this in with one of those clips. So yeah, I probably would wear this with a lot of things because as I just said, a lot of my pants don't fit. So this would definitely be a staple as well. Um, but yeah, there's that belt. Alrighty, so last piece. Yay! Why did I say that like really unexcited? Okay, so the last item is the Shavi. Char is that Shavi? C H A R V I? Shavi? The Shavi mini dress in tan. I got this in a size 8 and this is $65. Dollars. So this is what it looks like. You get a better idea of what it looks like obviously in the try on clip as this is kind of, this style is very hard to like show on camera. But it's got that square neckline or you could wear it off the shoulder whatever you want. It's also ruched which means it will pull you, well not pull you in, but it will hug your body and make it all look very um, flattering as well. Um, I really love the tan colour. I'm probably planning to wear this definitely maybe with some Perspect heels. A little like kind of nude bag as well to go with it. All that kind of jazz. Um, jewellery obviously. You could put a belt on this but I'm not going to. But yeah that one's really cute. The quality I think the ruching could have been a bit thicker I would say. Like it does feel like thinner. Um, if you compare this to like a House of CB dress, which like obviously they are very different price ranges and very different qualities. Um, but this could be a little bit thicker, um, a little bit more like suctiony, I guess, um, to the figure. But I'm very happy with this one as well. So that is the last piece. Alrighty, so that is the finished haul. I will just let you know that with that discount code, I did save about $200 on the order. So that 20% off code is really helpful. So go support Georgia because I'm pretty sure she like has a, a deal with Princess Polly. So like she gets some coint if you guys use her code, um, a little bit of commish. So yeah, go and support her. Her channel will be linked down below. I'll also link down below her Princess Polly video, just because I did watch it and I was like, I'm going to buy some Princess Polly stuff. So yes, I'll link her down below. Um, everything that I ordered will also be linked down below if you guys wanted to pick any of these things up. Um, as I did mention throughout the video, but I did get everything in a size 8. I haven't done the try on clips yet, but if for some reason I feel like when I'm doing them, um, you should probably size up or size down in any of the items that I bought. I will put that on the screen in the trial and clips as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, a little bit different, a little bit of a bigger video and a little bit of more effort. I mean, not that I don't put effort into my videos, but like, I really want to try hard with this video. So I hope, I hope it's been a good video. I'm still yet to do the trial and clips, but obviously they have already been in this video. You guys would have already seen them. Um, but yes, I hope this video was good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Um, let me know if you pick up any pieces from Princess Polly or if you pick up any pieces that I got or if I, you know, convinced you to buy any pieces as well. Um, Georgia definitely convinced me to buy lots of stuff. <laughs> Um, but yes, I hope this video was helpful. For make sure that you like this video um, down below as well as subscribe and hit that bell notification button just so you know when I upload a new video. Um, but yes, that is all for this video. I've said video so many times. That is all for today guys um, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!